Well, Stellantis promised the constant truck traffic would stop in Detroit's Pingree Park neighborhood, but from the looks of it, that promise didn't last long. No, defender Sean Lay was back in the neighborhood today, and so were the trucks, Sean. Just last week, the local Ford Defenders showed you how you could see and feel what has been driving neighbors in the Pingree Park area crazy, even keeping them up at night. Semi truck traffic nonstop. 24 7. All the semis marked Universal, a maroon family trucking company. The trucks supplying parts to the Stellantis Detroit Assembly Complex on St. Jean, where the Jeep Grand Cherokee is made. Stellantis responded to us, rerouting the trucks away from the neighborhood and back onto busier streets. Oh, the neighborhood was elated. I mean, it seemed like, you know, we had achieved what we set out to do, and it happened very rapidly. So we were, we were pumped. So what's happening now? Well, a few days ago, they just started to come back. Some of those universal trucks are now back, driving the routes to Lannis asked them to avoid. Neighbors sending us images from their doorbell cameras. After the flooding, new cracks in the roadways. Now there are concerns of sinkholes. This time, the neighbors are asking for Universal to help by sticking to what Stellantis agreed to. You know, this company is owned by the Maroon family. They have not been good partners with, for the city. and. I bet that Matthew Marone, if we had semis going past his house in Gross Point, I can guarantee you he would have a very specific reaction to that. We contacted Stellantis. They also had an immediate reaction telling us tonight there may have been incidents of non-compliance with the new routes. It's taking additional action, telling us they're reinforcing the use of Harper Avenue, not East Forest Avenue through that area, implementing GPS monitoring to track and if necessary, reroute trucks and dispatching an on-site monitor to observe and report the flow of traffic on East Forest. Lance is telling us they're taking these traffic concerns very seriously, but they've been working all day with the community and its suppliers to reinforce these route changes. Guys, back to you. And Sean, you checked with Universal Trucking, too. Interesting, because this is pretty much all Universal Trucking coming through that area and, uh, again, ignoring Stellantis's new routes until now. And we did reach out to them. Once we hear back from them, we'll tell you exactly how they respond. Yeah. All right, Sean, we'll talk to you then.